Okay, uh, so in this video, what we're going to do is calculate the variance for a Bernoulli distribution. Okay, so um, we have uh, we have some abstract probability space, and if you want, you can think of this as uh, let's say we flip a coin, and it's not fair, so uh, you get either a tail or a head, and the probability that you get a head i.e. the probability of the events that you get ahead, i.e. the set containing the single outcome that you get ahead, is going to be equal to little p. Uh, therefore, the probability of the event that you get a little tail is 1 minus p, which we might call q. So the probability that you get a singleton, uh, the, that you get that the event of the event that you get a tail is going to be q, or 1 minus p. OK, and then obviously the probability of the whole space is 1, the probability of the empty set is 0. Uh, so uh, we can then set up a random variable, uh, x, uh, which is going to map it onto uh, 0 or 1. And it's going to map tails onto 0, and it's going to map heads onto 1. So tail is going to be mapped onto 0, and head is going to be mapped onto 1. And therefore, uh, this distribution is the probability that, say, p prime of the singleton containing 1 is going to be p and p prime of 0 uh, is going to be uh, q. OK, uh, then we would say that x is Bernoulli distributed uh, with probability p, so Bernoulli p distributed. OK, so that's just a reminder of what the Bernoulli distribution is. Now what we wa uh, want to know is uh, what is the variance of this random variable x which is distributed Bernoulli p. Uh, well, uh, we know that the formula for uh, variance of x is the expectation value of x squared minus the expected value of x and then that value squared. OK, uh, so the expected value of x for a Bernoulli distribution, uh, just to remind you, is the sum over every possible value that it can take on, uh, which in this case is just 0 and 1, uh, of x times the probability that x is equal to little x. Uh, so this is equal to 0 times the probability that x is equal to 0, which is q, uh, plus 1 times the probability that x is equal to 1, which is p. Uh, so this just gives p. OK, so that's all well and good. Now what we want to know is what is the expected value of x squared. Now by the law of the, of the uh, unconscious statistician, which I uh, proved to you in the previous video, uh, this is the sum over x of x squared times the probability that x is equal to little x. Uh, so this is uh, 0 squared, is just 0, so 0 squared, times the probability that x is equal to x, which is q, uh, plus uh, 1 squared, times the probability that x is equal to 1, uh, which is p. So we get that the expected value of x squared is still p. Uh, so the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared, which is p, minus the expected value of x squared, which is p squared. So we get that it's equal to p minus p squared, which we could factor out into p times 1 minus p, which we could write as pq. So that is the calculation of variance of a Bernoulli p distribution.